Indy Mogul. Once again, foreign film industries try to remind Americans that they exist. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Warrior's Way. Hollywood seems to regularly mine England, Australia, and occasionally continental Europe for talented young actors, the Far East doesn't seem to be able to catch a break. Which is shocking when one considers the astounding success of the film industries in that region. The only actors who have managed to fight their way into Hollywood are, perhaps fittingly, martial arts actors, the most notable being Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Both men only truly made their mark with mainstream audiences in the United States by playing to their stereotypes with great success. However, that is a lesson other Asian actors seem unwilling to learn. Take Jang Dong Gun. He is a huge movie star in South Korea, and he now hopes to introduce himself to American audiences with The Warrior's Way, a kind of martial arts Moulin Rouge. The film is made in English and co-stars Jeffrey Rush, Kate Bosworth, and Danny Houston, actors American audiences know but don't usually pay to see. So while as beautiful and interesting as this film may look, it's not Jang Dong Gun who has the best shot at reaching American audiences these next few months, but Jay Chow, who takes over Bruce Lee's Cato role, the new Green Hornet film. The system might be flawed and, yes, somewhat offensive, but actors like Jang Dong Gun would do well to remember that it can only be changed from the inside. The Warrior's Way. Right. How was it? I thought it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it a lot. What made you come and see it today? Um, I'm a martial artist and I practiced Japanese sword for 20 years. How'd now. they do? They did very well. They didn't use a Japanese style because most of their work was ha one-handed. Japanese is too, but it was actually quite good. I thought it could have been faster with the action. You know, it was a little too like complacent and easy. But when it had action, it had action, but it could have been more of that. Very interesting filming, good action. Uh, I, th I thought the acting was brilliant. Each character was, I think, very well brought out. It's kind of a combination of Eastern and Western films. Right, and which is interesting, right? the cowboy thing with the, you know, the samurai type guys. Yeah, so right? That pretty, Did yeah. that work, or was it something like a hodgepodge? Well, no, no, I thought it worked. I liked it. Well, again, I, li I lived in Japan for 10 years, so I'm very familiar with uh, You're the perfect culture. audience member for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I thought it was very well done. He, the, he, he integrated well, slowly, step by step, through his, you know, laundry and so on. And they explained it very well that he, he transitioned from an assassin who was a lone, lone wolf kind of guy into uh, understanding that, you know, cooperating with these people and, and the soil and the work and all that stuff. It was, I thought it was very well integrated. What did you think of the lead actor? He's a big he's star in cool. South no, Korea. He's pretty good, yeah. He's yeah. got a great look and he's got, you know... Very slick, very smooth. What do you say to people who are like, I don't know the lead actor, I've never heard of this movie before, I'm not going to see it? Um, I think that's a big mistake. A lot of times people want to know who's the name actor in the film, and they're missing a lot of really good movies when they're only looking for a name actor. It's a fun movie. Don't come out here like, you know, oh my god, this is a fun, easy movie. It's good. I'd give it a seven to eight. I would say eight. So if you're feeling adventurous, you might want to see The Warrior's Way, as audiences give it a solid 7.5. And as the year comes to a close, it's time to vote in BTT's Top 10 Movies of 2010 poll. Go to this link to cast your vote, and the results will be revealed at the end of the year with a special episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Union Square, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.